Hello. Today I'll be showing you how to how to play your games in window ma mode and also limit your FPS. All right. So now you want to load up Google. Or, I was going to say Bing, but who the fuck uses Bing? All right. So you want to type in DXtory in the search. D X T O R Y. Hit enter and click the top one or the second one. It'll take you to a page that looks something like this. You'll want to go to the Downloads tab. That is the fourth one across. Click that, and then either download the latest or the stable version. It doesn't matter which one you download. Um, it's very straightforward. So download that, that's easy. Now what you want to do next is you want to find where your Harry Potter files are located. Now mine are in EA games, and then I have my three here. Yours may be in a different place, they may be in the same place. I would like to keep them all in the same place because it makes it a lot easier. Now what you want to do is you'll want to go into the game that you want to make in windowed mode and find the exe. It might be in system, a lot of the files are very similar. Their system, so that one's got system, system. They're all very similar. And once you've found the .exe, which is, will be something like this, application file, right click it and click create shortcut. Now after you create your shortcut, you want to click Properties. Right click and click Properties on the shortcut. You need to make sure it's on the shortcut. And now as you can see here, it's uh, Target Type, Target Location, and then Target. This box should be editable. If it isn't editable, then you've done something wrong, or you've clicked on the incorrect file, or you're not on the shortcut. This has to be editable. If it's not editable, you may not be on an admin administrative account, but uh, I don't know, that's a different problem. Once you've loaded up this, you find Go to the very end and there should be a quotation mark. After you get to that quotation mark, you go to the end and then hit the right arrow key, make sure you're right at the very end. Next, what you want to do is you want to hit space and then do a hyphen or a minus sign, whichever you want to call it, which is next to the zero or the plus sign. You can then lowercase type window or you can type windowed or hyphen W. Sometimes they will work, depending on what game it is, window will work or windowed or W. I'm not sure if win is one, you could try that. I can't remember, hopefully that doesn't delete system 32. Um, <clears throat> one of these should work. If it doesn't work, then I don't think you'd be able to play the game in windowed mode using this method. So you type one of these in, click apply, and you create that shortcut. And basically that means when you load up this, the game via the shortcut, it should take, or th if this is the correct one, I hope I've loaded up the correct one. In fact, I'm gonna, Alright, so you load up the game, I know I can click it and it will go away and it will stop showing that page, but it doesn't work. Um, um, come on, come on. Okay, maybe I have to do this one, maybe I, I'm wrong. I'm not sure what's happening right now. This is annoying. Alright, I'll quickly just do it with Prisoner of Escobar instead. No, I won't, apparently. Oh, come on. There, wait, is it? Oh, it's still not loading. Why is it not loading? Oh, this is really fucking annoying. Um. Alright, ignore that. Prisoner of Azkaban. So I'm going to load that up, am I? No? There we go! <laughs> wow, okay. Alright, so once you've clicked that, once you've clicked your shortcut with hyphen window, W, or windowed, You'll, you'll get the game load up. I don't know if you're running Chamber of Secrets or not, or whatever. Uh, I'm going to create a new game, and the game should load in a windowed mode box. Now, yours might not be this big, <laughs> but uh, you should be able to change the video settings here. Uh, you can also actually just drag this out, but it will mess up with the aspect ratio, and you want to be careful with that. Um, now, I'm going to load up Fraps to show you the FPS. 
As you can see here, the FPS is 180, and now it's 200. And this game is running faster than it should be right now. This isn't a huge problem, it doesn't cause me a big problem. But if you don't cap your FPS, then in some situations in the game, if you face a certain direction that's not very straining on your computer, you can spike up to about 300 FPS. And if this happens, you're very likely to run at twice the speed that the game should be. And you'll suddenly sprint across or something. Which obviously isn't very fair in a speedrun, because you're not really meant to play this game in window mode. Now, the way to fix this is you've downloaded DX Toy. You want to open up your documents, go to Program Files, if you can't find it in here. Go to Program Files, DX Tory Software, DX Tory 2.0, and open up the application. You'll have to wait 10 seconds if you're on the trial. If you uh, bought the real one, then you won't. You can still do this on the trial, because you don't need to record anything. And you won't have the watermark, because you're, all you're doing is just having it in the background, uh, constricting a game's FPS. Now, firstly, you want to make sure it detects your game. So you want to have closed the game, and then load up DX Story. And now when you load up your game, it should detect it here. All right, let's see. Now, if it doesn't detect your game, what you're going to need to do is close down DX story, go away that. Cool. Load up DX story again. Maybe, maybe Fraps is interfering with this Fraps. I don't need Fraps anymore. All right. Sorry, uh, okay, so you load up the trial, and there we go, can you see, it's, it, what it has, what's happened here is this has gone yellow, you've got text here, this should be orange, and you should see a number in game, and this is showing the FPS. Now if this doesn't happen, then try restarting DX Tory, and try restarting your game, a different order, loading up the game, and then DX Tory, I have some problems with this occasionally. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to go to this tab, the movie tab, and you want to set the frame rate to... This is if you're using DX Story to record, I believe. Set, set this to 60 or 120, and then make sure you click Synchronize Video FPS if you are using this to record. The more important one, though, however, is going to the Advanced Settings tab, which is the green square, and then clicking Limit Video FPS at the bottom. You can set your FPS to whatever you want. I like to set it to 20, and you can see already that it's set it straight 120 at the top left of my game. If I stop it, it's, it's spiking up to 200. You can limit this to anything, I can limit it to 60, and keep it at 60, but I think 120 is a solid number for Chamber of Secrets, um, because 120 will make almost no difference uh, throughout the game. But other games, I'm gonna, as they aren't ran, they like other games aren't really running this, I'm gonna make sure they're, ra they're played at 60 FPS, or uh, 120 FPS, I'll put it out. because then it makes a, a level playing field for someone who has a supercomputer that runs the game twice the speed it should be. Uh, once you limited the FPS, it obviously it will limit the FPS, and now the game runs slower. Well, for me, it runs slower because I was having Harry Potter high FPS. Four, drive with his now, once you've done that, you'll want to go to the second tab here. And this, unless you want to see it, and then you can click this bit here where it says video FPS under status, and it will get rid of it at the top left. It will still, was often it will still room. restrict Even your FPS. But you'll no longer have to see wasn't to the, the green number. When he was away from school. All right, I think that's about it. Uh, I hope this works out. If it doesn't work out, feel free to PM me on Twitch at FrozenLu. Um, you can probably comment on this video. I might read it. I don't know if I remember. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Potter Olympics, which is the kind of tournament team based Harry Potter running game which is kind of just it's for fun a lot of people are running blind but it's to kind of bring awareness to Harry Potter as a speed running platform um, so yeah thank you for watching I hope this helped out as I said if it didn't then message me uh, if you want to join in PM me as well I hope this helps and goodbye